everyone. I want to show you how to construct a foundation unit where one is in the center of the paper. So this is the wedge that goes with block number one and you'll notice that the number one shape is right there with two, three, and four. So the first thing you want to do is um, orient this number one shape correctly because it is narrower than it is tall and you sure don't want to turn it sideways or it won't cover the whole shape. So I know that this number one fabric is going to be oriented this way. And I know that I want the number two piece of fabric down at the bottom and I'm going to place those right sides together with the raw edges matching down here and then I would position the paper on top of it centered and I would sew across the paper joining one and two to the paper. Now I've already done that. So let me magically pull this over. Whoops, that's the wrong one. You pull this one over. Alright, so I've got one and two sewn to the paper and pressed open. The next thing I would do is turn this over and fold it just like this and I would trim away that number three the excess fabric under number three and then I would turn this upside down and take the number three fabric and center it right there I'd turn it and sew all the way across on that solid line. Once that's sewn, as I have it here, and pressed open, I would turn this over and trim away that excess fabric on the number four side. Just like that. And then I would position the number four square right here, sew it, press it open, and then turn and trim away all the excess fabric. Now, on this side and this side you'll be able to use a ruler to trim the excess fabric away. On the rounded side you'll want to hold this carefully and cut slowly with your rotary cutter along the edge of the paper. So, that's how you handle a shape that has number one in the center. All you have to do is follow the piecing sequence and you'll be just fine. So, enjoy! Happy sewing!